Hello and welcome to Treasury 360 with me, Kujo Ava. Today we'll be discussing the very interesting topic of the VOG FX forward options. Now, the Financial Markets Department, headed by Mr. Stephen Opata of the Bank of Ghana, have come up with the FX options for banks to further deepen the FX market as well as aid in price discovery, also help with the certainty of availability of FX. Uh, particularly the US dollar in the future. Now, the auction process is quite simple and several auctions, about three of them have been held already. And this video will be uh, going through how to bid or how to compute your bid prices for the forward auction. To begin with, I'd like to uh, explain what a forward is first before we go into how it works. Now, a forward, what it is not, it's not a prediction or it's not a prediction as to what rates will be or it is not a forecast into the future to say this is where rates will be in the future. The, it is simply an interest rate differential between two currencies, right, expressed in the exchange returns. Now, this is a technical definition, but uh, I'll break it down as I explain on the blackboard, on the whiteboard. Okay. So, to begin with, and, uh, a forward would say, we'll explain what a forward is and then we'll narrow it down into the BOG uh, FX forward. Now, we are saying that in seven days, for example, we require one dollar. So, in seven days' time, we want to know what price can we buy one dollar. The first thing we do is to present value this one dollar so we present value we PV this one dollar to today so this will be today and see how much one how much we need to invest today to get one dollar in seven days so for example if we present value one dollar for seven days at a, a, a this will be at a rate at a certain rate, it comes to zero point nine five dollar. This is just an example. So what we've done is that if we invest zero point nine five dollars today at a certain rate, we we'll arrive at one dollar in seven days. This is a money market transaction. All right. Now we have a certain dollar amount. We want to go into the sports market and find out how we can, how much it takes to buy one dollar in the uh, FX market. So we go in search of a spot rate. So the spot rate will be dollar against CD, and the spot rate currently, for example, will be equal to five point zero zero zero. All right. In this case, we are saying that one dollar today costs five CDs. So, how much would zero point nine five dollars cost? I have a very simple calculator here. So, zero point nine five dollars times five CDs. That will give us. So, to buy zero point nine five dollars, I need to have. 4.75 CDs. So in the spot market, one dollar goes for five CDs. If I want to buy 0 0.95 dollars, I need to pay 4.75. Okay, so today this is equal to this. So if I have 4.75 CDs, I need to know how much will I need to invest 4.75 CDs in this market for seven days. Or if I invest 4.75 CDs at a certain rate, how much will mature in seven days' time? So what I will do is to future value, and this will also be at a rate for seven days. So this is still seven days. So in seven days' time, let's say I arrive at, um, at a certain rate, I invest 
4.75 CDs at a certain rate in seven days, I arrive at five CDs. Okay, so what we've done is to say that today in the market, spot prices are five CDs. And so if I go into the market today, I'm going to buy $0.95. I'm going to pay 4.75 for it. If I invest this 4.75 at a certain rate, it will mature in seven days' time at five CDs. So in the in seven days' time, one dollar, I can exchange five CDs for one dollar based on these two money market transactions. The first money market transaction was 0 0.95 being invested and maturing at one dollar. The second is 4.75 CDs invested at a rate maturing at 5 CDs. Alright, so this is equal to this. Now, the interesting part about the BOG forward option, FX forward option, is that your CD amount will be held by the BOG on the day of the transaction at 0%. So it means that when we have present valued your one dollar to today, found the spot price of dollar today, multiplied by this amount, you are going to invest this at zero percent, which means no interest. And if you invest four point seven five at no interest for seven days, you will get a four point seven five CDs. So this is the BOG auction. And this is, let's say normal, this is the normal form. Okay, so in computation for the BOG, the investment here will be at 0% because BOG is going to take your CD up front and not pay you any interest on it. So this will arrive here. So a normal form will give you five CDs and the BOG FX forward transaction will give you 4.75. Okay? Now, this is very interesting and uh, what you can do, and I'll explain this in my next video where we uh, treat this in an Excel, where we go into the details of bidding for the auction. This, is, this video is to explain the concept and then our next video we'll look at how to uh, place your bids to ensure some level of success in the BOG FX forward auction.